Hi, my days. Welcome back to my channel. I finally got a chance to sit down and listen to the first half of Wampil's new first album, Pilmography. Uh, Wampu had a stunning, stunning, stunning title track. Voice list was so good. I was so happy to see him promote it. Um, excited to get into this album. He's got such a unique voice and like was really like one of the reasons I was drawn to Even of Day and then eventually Day 6. Uh, so I'm excited to get into this. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We're starting with Sincerity. I like the piano. I like that. I like the switch between the piano and the synth. This chorus is so good. There's so much going on in this instrumentation. I love it. Wow, that was interesting because the beginning of it started with the isolated piano on like the steady like singular note and then brought in the wampo and the piano chords became more intricate but then you hit that chorus and that chorus is if you take out the chorus the instrumentation is not that complex but man there's so much going on in that chorus that I was almost like fixated on it. Um, you can just hear it go up and down the scales with the different notes. Uh, but the use of like the switching back and forth between the actual piano and the synth was really interesting. Like, and his voice, his voice was so different. Like, I feel like Wampil's voice is not a song, not the type of voice that you would utilize for a like a complex instrumentation like this but it works and he makes it work because it's it's him doing it so he has such a big hand in the creation of his music that he knows what to utilize and he knows what sounds good uh, 
and it's uh, he that's a privilege and he takes advantage of it so well so props to Wampa on that one I meant to say before I started some of these are gonna be lyric videos some of these are gonna be live clips so um, the next song we have is a live clip actually that's why I said it um, is a writer in a love story so excited to get into this I don't think it has any captions but that is a-okay I am here to appreciate Wampa's beautiful voice so let's go ahead and get started I like the setting with all the books on the stairs. Get into it, Wampo. I like the... I love the like jazz feel. This like, like sonic sound threw me off the first time I heard it. Oh, that was so good. Okay, I was talking at the beginning and then was completely thrown off by that like sonic type sound. Um, and then they did it again. They only did it twice in the whole song, once at the beginning and once towards the middle. Um, and I wasn't expecting it the first time, but hearing the like warpedness of the amplified guitars, it worked. The, there's so many interesting musical choices in this album we are two songs in and i'm already like making my brain work um but there were so many interesting choices in this album so far i feel like Juan Peel really played around with this album and took risk but they're they're working so far and i really like that my man is pushing the boundaries of what normal jazz music should sound like and i like it I was here for it. So, um, next we have Walk With Me. 
every time I see the word walk, I can't help but think of the Even of Day song, Walk, where they just sing Kim Wampiel in the middle of it, and now I miss Even of Day, and now I'm sad. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Wampiel's Walk With Me. I like the shaker. This gives me very beachy vibes. You're like the cicadas. Oh, I like that. That was so good. I loved the like the really peaceful part of the of it at the beginning and then you add in the shaker and it kind of picks up the pace of kind of like a bustling uh, street um but it talks about walking at your own pace and everything and then uh the like beachy vibes but then at night you take it it trips back the instrumentation a whole lot but it adds in the little like sound effects of the different like animals you would hear at night like the cicadas and uh, i thought it was birds i couldn't even te technically hear it clearly but it kind of sounded like birds, maybe like crickets, just like different animals you usually hear at night. Um, but it was really, uh, this was really touching. This one was really, really sweet. So I like this one a lot. Next we have Stranded. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Stranded. Ooh. This one gives me right through me vibes. Not like the song, but this the sound of the album.
like this boy. And just let it fade. Ooh, uh, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, I think the beginning of it gave me very like 80s synth, synth kind of vibes, which I think is why I think it reminded me of the Right Through Me album because it had that similar sound. Um, but I really like the chorus. It just kind of like, you just kind of want to sway your body with it, but it's also very upbeat. So you've got that little bounce with it. Um, it was just really, really nice. So next we have someday spring will come. I think this is the last one I'm gonna do out of uh, for today, and then tomorrow I'm gonna do the last four. And I think half of them are live clips, which I'm really excited about. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into someday spring will come. Oh. Nice use of that ridge tom sound.
Ooh. Okay, I don't know if this reference is going to make sense, but hopefully it does and y'all understand what I'm saying. But this song felt like I was listening to a Bee Gees song. And based off of the instrumentation, not so much One Pill's voice, but it kind of did towards the end when he used his deeper register. Uh, I don't know why, but that's just like the the when it started and everything, I was just like, wow, I feel like how I feel when I listen to Bee Gees songs. Um, but... This one was definitely more laid back. Uh, very, very pretty. I think this is a perfect way to end off this per this first half. I'm excited to get into the rest of them with, uh, I think we have Pieces, um, Last Goodbye, and I think the last two are live clips of Unpainted Campus and a Journey. So excited to get into this. Um, but the, so far this album has been spectacular. Super, super proud of One Peel. I know he really enjoyed making this and the whole process. Um, before he decided to enlist, um, they, the, the, even if they guys all went like super close together so they could get back sooner, which, um, I'm surprised not more people do, but, um, that means I'll get them back all relatively at the same time, which makes me super happy. Um, but, uh, yeah, this, this has been such a good album and I'm excited to get to the last half of it. But with that being said, be on the lookout for my next uh, for the second half of this album, album reaction, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for giving me love on this channel. Uh, love you guys, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, my days.